This is my review of the VSA Vintage 590. This is a guitar that's actually been discontinued. Uh, they did make it in two versions. This is version one, which is the much better of the two because it's uh, not got the vintage offset horns or and uh, the extended live belt. This is just a straight copy of the, the Epiphone Casino except uh, the inlays are a bit different. We've got uh, some diagonal green inlay on top of some white inlay. It's got the P90 Wilkinsons, uh, very similar to the Epiphone Casino. Uh, it's of course got the vintage headstock, not the Epiphone headstock, which I, I personally prefer. I mean, when these were available in about 2011 to about 2013-14, before Vintage got the cease and desist letter from uh, Gibson and started making the offset guitars. Uh, these guitars were about a third cheaper than the Epiphone Casino but in my opinion they're just as nice guitars so uh, I think this is uh, a Korean made guitar. So what does it actually sound like? tuners on these uh, uh, version 1 vintage you've got a uh, mother of pearl inlay on the headstock rather than the silk screen uh, it's got a uh, scarf joint on the neck I don't know if you can actually see that this particular model uh, I got second hand for 230 pounds with a hard case so you can pick them up really cheap they were cheaper than uh, Epiphone Casinos when they were new and they're cheaper second hand but these are the ones to go for because uh, the version 1 is the, the, the straight copy of the uh, Casino whereas the, as I say, the other version, version 2 um, is uh, not as anywhere near as nice looking guitar, it's not as symmetrical but as I say because Gibson sent a cease and, a cease and desist letter to Vintage, vintage don't make any straight lifts of any Epiphone or Gibson semi-acoustic guitars anymore. They're all offset, uh, and they only make a limited amount. This particular guitar, the 590, VSA 590, they stopped making uh, in 2016. So uh, you, you won't be able to get uh, a new one anymore. Uh, and the, the majority of them that seem to be around are the offset ones, so version 1 is the, definitely the one to go for. As I say, they probably only made these for two or three years. There's not many of them out there, uh, but you can pick them up really inexpensively and they're beautifully made guitars. Uh, bound, maple, it's got a solid block in the middle, uh, which uh, really cuts down feedback. You've got the flying trapeze style um, tail end stop, uh, you know, nice controls, 
you know, as a, a cheap version of the casino, this is an, an amazing good guitar, but as I say, they're, they're not easy to get hold of. There's not that many of them around. <laughs> Yeah.